Hi, welcome to our mini lesson on volume. We're going to find the volume of a cube, a cylinder, a pyramid, and a cone. So we've got to get going pretty quickly here. We'll start out with finding the volume of a cube. When we're given a cube, we know that it is a square on all sides. So what we're going to do, and this will be true of any um, rectangular prism, any prism basically that you find, First of all, you'll find the area of the base, and then you'll find the area of the height. So in this case, because all lengths are the same, that means we do the length of one side cubed. So the volume is equal to the length of one side cubed. So in other words, 50 meters cubed. We can write that out as 50 meters times 50 meters times 50 meters which gives us a result of 125,000 meters cubed. All right, that's 50 times 50 times 50. And that is how you find the volume of a cube. To find the volume of a can, you find first find the area of the base and multiply it times the height. You'll notice that that's something you just heard. It's the same way that we found the area for the cube. Now, it's a little bit different because the area of the base is a circle. And the area of a circle is pi r squared. And then to find the volume of this can, we find, multiply that times 4 inches. So we're going to substitute in the values. We know the radius is 2 inches. The height of the can is 4 inches. That was given in our question there and also in the picture. So we do 2 inches squared. We'll square the 2 and we'll square the inches to give us 4 inches squared. It can be written like this, 4 pi inches squared. Or you could write pi 4 inches squared. Either way is fine. And then this, the height remains the same. Now I'm going to multiply these two together. When I do that, I multiply 4 times 4, which gives me 16. Inches squared times inches gives me inches cubed. And I have the exact volume of 16 pi inches cubed. Because we don't usually talk in terms of pi like that, it doesn't really make any sense. It doesn't tell us anything. So let's go ahead and convert that into a number. And the approximate volume would be 50.27 inches cubed for this can. That has a radius of 2 inches and a height of 4 inches. The volume of a pyramid, a little bit more complicated, but here's the equation. The volume is equal to one-third of the base times the height. Now the base is the uh, capital B, and it is the area of the base. So in this question, we're told the base has a length. The base has a length of four centimeters and six centimeters. Okay, I should say a length of four centimeters and a width of six centimeters. Okay, so the the base would be four times six, and that will give us the area of the base. I'll show you that right here. I've put that inside of um, brackets. This is the area of the base, four centimeters times six centimeters. The height would be 15 centimeters, and that's all multiplied by one-third. So first I'll do what's inside the brackets, four times six centimeters times centimeters. I have 24 centimeters squared. And now I can just multiply everything out, 24 times 15 times one-third, and that gives me a volume of 120 centimeters cubed, or cubic centimeters. That would be the volume of this pyramid, the one described up here. Not the Egyptian one, actually. That almost looks like it's a Mayan pyramid um, down here. Little pyramid, 4 centimeters, 15 centimeters tall. Not a big one. All right, <laughs> let's go on to a cone. Again, not a traffic cone, unless you want one that's 10 feet high. This is going to be a weird shaped cone, maybe, I don't know, on top of a car or something. I don't know why you'd ever need a cone of this size. But let's just go ahead and say that we have one. The, we're going to find the area of the base. Okay. 
which is pi r squared, so we're going to need the radius. And there's the base of the radius is 3 feet and the height of 10 feet. We need both the radius and the height for this equation for the volume of a cone. The equation is the volume is equal to 1 third times pi r squared times the height. So here we've substituted in the values we know. We know the radius is 3 feet, the height is 10 feet. So the first thing that we're going to do with order of operations is we're going to square 3 feet. 3 squared is 9, feet squared is feet squared. So 9 feet squared. Everything else remained the same. In our next step, we'll multiply together 9 feet squared times 10 feet and get a result of 90 feet cubed. 90 feet cubed, and then I can multiply 1 third times 90 feet cubed to get my final exact volume of 30 pi feet cubed. Again, not overly helpful because we usually don't speak in terms of pi, so let's go ahead and give that a value of approximately 94.25 feet cubed. That's an approximate volume of this cube. So that is how we've demonstrated how to find the area of a cube, the area of a cylinder, the area of a, um, a pyramid, and the area volume, whoa, blah, 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 blah. volume of a cube, volume of a cylinder, volume of a pyramid, and volume of a cone. I hope that that's been helpful. They've been really quick examples, I know. But keep practicing using these equations, plugging in the values that you have, and working out the math, and you'll get better and better at it. If you've got any questions, make sure to ask your regular math teacher. Have a wonderful day.